Hey there, I am Kate Danielle. Welcome. If you are new to me and my tutorials, I am a graphic designer and a Canva certified creative. And today I want to show you this cool tool that you can use in conjunction with Canva to make realistic mock-ups, whether that be a mock-up on a screen, phone, or tablet, or some type of printed mock-up like a planner or a book. Um, they even have different product mock-ups like t-shirts and things like that. But before we jump in, please be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, and do all the things so you can follow me and keep up. Plus, it helps me know that you are actually finding the content useful. So let's jump in. So this is Smart Mockups, and they reached out to me and to see if I wanted to share this tool with my community, and I kind of put it off for a little while, and then I actually took some time to dig in, and I was immediately impressed, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And they did provide me with a, an affiliate link and a 20% off code for you guys. So they do provide a free option and a free trial to their paid options so you can test out some of the premium features to see if you want it. We'll look at the pricing at the end, but let's go ahead and dig around in the app. You can see here are some of just the different categories. I'm gonna go ahead and click on all mock-ups. And looks like these are just some of their latest on top. Um, they've got things like business cards and like I said, coffee mugs and stuff like that. But most of you will probably be making like laptop mock-ups or, or some type of printable PDF or invitation type things. What is cool about this and different from creating one in Canva is that you can create a mock-up at an angle and it's gonna just pop it right in for you and be realistic. In Canva, you can create mock-ups but they have to be flat like this and cannot be at any kind of angle. And I'm looking at my computer right now on my laptop and naturally it's just open to a slight um, angle where it's leaning back kind of how this is here I'm going to create a like a PDF printable workbook type mock-up today so I'm gonna come into magazine and books the first thing we get are are these ones that are just sort of floating in a white space I want to give it one that has a little bit more scenery. And I'm going to show you in a little bit, if you don't like any of these mock-ups, that you can actually create your own. Let's go with the iPad instead, because a lot of times PDFs can be viewed digitally. So I'm going to come over to Canva, and here is my workbook example. We have to do one thing in Canva. If you have multiple pages in the document, you need to get the page you want to show in the mock-up in a separate Canva workspace by itself, which it is super simple to do, no matter if you have Canva Pro or the free version. So what I would do is just come open a workspace in the same size. If you have Canva Pro, you can come to folders and just find that design and click and add it in. If you have the free version, you come back to your original. I'm gonna rubber band select it all and I'm gonna hit Command C to copy. Come to the new one. I'm gonna hit Command V to paste it in. It gets everything but the background, so I'm just gonna come back and copy the background the same way and paste it in. And now we're ready to go. We're gonna need to copy this link in the navigation bar, not the share link. I'm gonna come back to our photo and smart mockups and you click upload from Canva. And you paste that link in right here and it's gonna do its magic. Here is where you crop it to make it fit appropriately. So this little dotted edge line is the actual edge of the opening in your mock-up. So sometimes you may have to zoom it in. Um, some of the magazines aren't quite the same as an eight and a half by 11. So you would just make adjustments to make sure, see if it didn't fill the space, that's what it kind of looks like. You want to make sure you fill the space in those dotted outlines. And then you can hit use these if you ever need to adjust the alignment and 
flip it and things like that. Obviously we don't want to flip it backwards. We're going to click crop and continue and it is going to pop our design right in at this cool fun angle. And now you can download it right to your computer and I'm just going to click hi and it will save it. One more thing I want to show you is if you come over to mockups history, which this is a new feature, I had to come in here earlier and toggle this on because it was off. So it wasn't sh saving any of my previous work. And you can kind of see here how the different mockups work. You can have two different ones on the same screen and they can be different images. So this is a really fun tool. Like I said, one awesome feature is the, pre is the premium feature of creating a custom mockup. So say you couldn't quite find what you were looking for in all of their um, preset mockups, you can come find your own stock photo. I like to use deposit photos, so I picked this one to download. And then over here in smart mockups, we're going to click create a new mockup. Now this does require a little bit more work because you actually have to create those fields that your image is going to pop into. So I'm going to find where I downloaded my photo and drag it in here. You can give it a name. You can create a category by just typing it in and it will create one. I have one called computers and we're going to click continue. Now on this next screen, we're going to actually add in the placeholder. So we're going to add our first placeholder. You can do a custom size if you happen to like know the exact dimensions. This calculate automatically seems to always just put this square rectangle in. So I'm going to trash that. I like to start with a preset and they have some that can just get you kind of close. I'm going to click MacBook for this one and you have to click the little icon right here to actually drag it around and now I'm just gonna drag these corners to roughly line up with the computer screen and in just a second I'm gonna zoom in to see how you can really fine-tune it so to zoom in you scroll to zoom just like you do in Google Maps so in my trackpad I just use my two fingers and scroll to zoom in and I can get close and really just fine tune these right up on the edges. Now I can click and just drag my screen around. That one looks good and this one might be over a little bit. Okay and to zoom out I'm just scrolling back down. Now I want to go add in the space on the phone so I'm going to add my second placeholder. I'm going to come back to my presets and pick a phone. Did I miss it? Not sure what kind of phone that is. Maybe this kind. Get rid of our little tips and tricks here. If you want to open that, you just click that question mark. I have a bad habit of just wanting to try to click in the blue and drag and obviously that does not work. So you do kind of have to size this down like this. It starts to look a little funky, but it will come back together. And this is like getting our perspective right for us. Okay, and I'm gonna scroll and zoom in so I can make sure I get this just right. And basically I just, I really want, I wanna make sure it's straight, but I wanna make sure since the phone is white that I'm covering the black. I don't want a little black sliver showing through. So now that I have those set, I'm going to click save and quit. And our photo is created. And now we click on it and add in our links from Canva the same way. So this top one is the computer screen. And as you can see, it highlights sort of the one you're working on. And they obviously have other methods of input, but I love how it coordinates with Canva. So again, you would get that same link. Now, obviously this PDF is not gonna fit well on the computer, but we're gonna keep working with it just for this tutorial. I grabbed the wrong PDF. So this is what it looks like when you grab one with the multiple pages. So I'm gonna click cancel and get the one that's just the single page.
There we go. And now I can just use my little zoom here to zoom this all the way in to fill the space. So this would be great if you wanted to create some sort of scene to showcase on a computer. Something that maybe demonstrates your services or something you blog about or whatever you want to display here on the computer. I'm going to continue and then you just repeat the same thing and get whatever image you wanted to be in the phone. So this is a, just a really useful t tool to seamlessly take your Canva designs and showcase them in a mock-up. So I suggest kind of taking a look at all the different things and seeing if you think it will be useful. So now I have another window open so we can actually check out their pricing. You can get started for free. There are some limitations. It says 200 free mock-ups and I believe that they don't have as many photos available. I'm not positive on that. Um, and here are their different packages. It does look like to get the custom mock-ups, you need the $20 a month package. When I first explored this, there was not that many stock photos already pre-set up with the mock-ups in here and they have added so many more and keep adding more. So you may find that you don't need the custom mock-up option. Now, like I said, I do have a 20% off discount for you guys. It's Kate20 and you will find the links and the coupon code below this video. So let me know what kind of mock-ups that you want to create and test out with this markup tool. I just, I love how all you have to do is use the Canva link and it will pop in whatever design you're working on. If you would like to see me create some sort of particular type of mock-up with this, let me know in the comments too. And be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, all the things, um, because it helps me know what kind of content to create for you guys and um, what you're finding helpful.